Nearly 4,000 pro-life advocates gathered in Lincoln, Nebraska on Saturday, January 31st for the annual Walk for Life. The event began with Mass at St. Mary's Church, celebrated by William Denninger, Bishop of Grand Island. Bishop-elect Monsignor Joseph Hannafeld from Christ the King Parish in Omaha, Nebraska, delivered the homily. The pro-life challenge, I think, begins within each of us. Each of us must first come to both accept and believe that we ourselves are precious, unique, gifted, and graced. That each of us is a never-to-be-repeated wonder in all of God's creation. And in that regard, God did not mess something up when he made us. Oftentimes, that's the big hurdle for many of us, to believe in our, that our own life is sacred and precious to him. Before the participants began their walk from the state capitol to the University of Nebraska's Student Union, prayers were offered and hundreds of balloons were released to commemorate the victims of abortion. May their minds help them to find words that are persuasive without watering down the message. May they see that the family is a blessing on society and not a liability. May they have the courage to stand up for the unborn, especially when it is not popular, when fellow legislators mock and pressure them to give up on just legislation that protects life. We ask you to be with us all, that we may work united to protect life. During this 42nd anniversary of Roe versus Wade, we consider the past four de the past four decades in which our society has legally permitted abortion. Since that tra tragic decision, many children's lives have been lost, and many suffer that loss, often in silence. Yet God's greatest desire is to forgive, to give life. No matter how far we have strayed from his side, he says to us, do not be afraid, draw close to my heart. Be with us today and every day to be witnesses in every way to the dignity of human life. A small counter protest of pro-abortion advocates were also in attendance. We are staunch advocates for reproductive rights and reproductive justice. So you say my body, my choice. What about yes. the baby's body? It's a fetus. It's in utero. The woman's body takes precedence. Take precedence. She has autonomy. She has bodily integrity. So when does it become a human life? Once it goes through the birth canal or is born through the cesarean section. Although the Walk for Life included people from many different faiths, the majority of participants were Catholic, including several religious orders and seminarians from Our Lady of Guadalupe Seminary in Denton, Nebraska. Um, I believe Pope John Paul II said um, a nation that kills its own children is a nation without hope. And I feel that children are a hope and God has, from the beginning of time, from the beginning of Genesis, has put the family and human beings into this world to bring beauty to this world. And without that beauty, without the hope of the future, we as a nation not only die as a nation, but also spiritually, and we lose the gift of what it, and the joy of what it means to be human. So, you know, there's a bunch of us out here today walking for uh, the cause of life, uh, from the beginning of its conception in the womb until natural death. Uh, today in this culture that we live in, uh, it's not respected. Uh, and we see in our culture that it leads to other uh, horrible crimes against life. Um, and I think this prayer for witness that you see today, many children, families, religious, out here showing peacefully and in the spirit of charity that Christ taught, uh, they're their witness to life. Uh, and I think uh, that that charity uh, is necessary in all of our uh, efforts uh, to promote the, this, uh, this uh, culture of life that St. John Paul II uh, so often preached, uh, that spirit of charity, because uh, as St. Saint, as Saint Paul said, you know, charity uh, is the bond of perfection. Uh, so if we're going to lead our culture to perfection, lead it to its eternal salvation, uh, we need to have that charity in all that we do. So I think today is a good example of that, uh, that charity for, for, uh, for neighbor, from the unborn until uh, natural death that we see out here that we're witnessing in this peaceful, peaceful uh, march.